Holistic Detox. I've focused on the most important stuff. Have you noticed that up to this point I haven't talked about physical detox? It's because physical detox is the least of your worries. The physical issues that you may have, the financial problems that you are struggling with, the sexual issues that you may be grappling with, all of these are just icing on the cake. This is the tip of the iceberg. I'm focused on what really matters, which is your mental, emotional, and spiritual state. Fix those, and the tip of the iceberg changes dramatically. Fix what's inside, and the outside will take care of itself. Whatever it is you're struggling with and whatever bad habits you may have are just all emanations and manifestations of things going on deep down inside. And this is why this detox system works from the inside out. I'm not saying that I will completely disregard the need for physical detox, but it's just one part of the equation. Start with a mental detox. Adopt meditation and mindfulness practices. Try these three. You can easily find guides on these meditation mindfulness techniques online. I've listed these three since they are the most effective for me. One, count your breath. Two, present object observation or single object observation. Three, transcendental meditation. Use your increased mental focus to separate your feelings from your external stimuli. You don't have to get upset when your girlfriend says you're a loser. You don't have to immediately feel sad when you remember your mother abandoning your family for another man. You don't have to go off the deep end when that mental image of your boss verbally humiliating you in front of the 300 people flashes into your mind. Learn how to separate stimuli from habitual mental interpretation through mindfulness and meditation. Emotional Detox Actively let go or neutralize negative emotions. When you see, hear, or detect something that emotionally triggers you, consciously come up with an opposite reaction. For example, you're scrolling through your Facebook feed and you notice that your ex-boyfriend now has a new girlfriend and she is a thousand times prettier than you. When you detect that spark of anger, resentment, hate, or envy because he's moved on, quickly counteract it with feeling happy for him, feeling happy for her. Share their joy. In Buddhism, depression is almost impossible because one of the skills you learn as a Buddhist is to share other people's joy. Be grateful for them. Practice gratitude. Be grateful for what you have. You may be on your deathbed at a hospital room with stage 4 cancer. Be thankful that you can still breathe. Be thankful that you can still have time even though it's very short. Be thankful that you have one final chance to put everything together so you go out with some sense of meaning and purpose. Whatever it is, be thankful. It's hard to find an unhappy person who is also ungrateful. It's almost impossible. Mentally detox by being in the moment. Mentally and spiritually detox by being in the moment. Transcendental meditation is good for this because TM melts your thoughts. You're not agonizing about things that happened in the past. All that is pointless because you can't change the facts of the past. The past is the past. It already happened. By the same token, you're not beating yourself up unnecessarily about things that have yet to happen. Why worry? It hasn't happened yet. Instead, you've trained yourself to focus on the moment. There's nobody to become. There's nothing to apologize for. There's nothing to be. There are no people to please. There's no need to be validated. You just are. Let that sink in. Tap the power of just being. There's nothing to compare yourself to. There's nothing to live up to. There's just the present moment. Let go of everything else. Unleash the power of fasting. When it comes to physical detox, nothing beats fasting. Seriously, that's the bottom line. Fasting explained. Fasting is essentially letting go of solid food. Whether you stop eating for one day or 40 days, it's all about letting go of solid food. That's the classic definition of fasting. I suggest that you adopt a fast. There are many different variations of this. Different variations of physical fasting. You can do the classical fast, which is water only. You can do the juice fast. You can do the Daniel fast of the Hebrew Bible. Classic fast. Classic fasting simply means you drink only water. However, don't think that you're not eating when you are fasting. You may not be eating physical food, but you must eat spiritual food. This is why I suggest that you adopt a meditation practice, that you keep a journal, and that you watch what you feed your head while you're going through a fast. Feed your head inspirational things that push you to become a bigger and better person than who you think you are. Feed on things that break down your ego and crush your pride. Feed on things that destroy your ears and fill you with a tremendous sense of possibility. These are all mental and spiritual food. The great thing about fasting is that it enables you to hunger for this type of food so the sustenance that you get becomes more important than physical sustenance that preserves your bones, tissues, and blood. The Juice Fast 
there are many different variations of juice fasts. I suggest that you drink juice that is not all that sugary and satisfying. It should have some taste, but that's all. The whole point here is not to get distracted by the syrupy goodness of your juice. Instead, it should have a little bit of flavor and a little bit of calories, but not really all that different from water. Remember, when you're fasting, you are aligning your physical detoxification and letting go of physical toxins in your fat cells and blood with the detoxification happening in your mind and spirit. They have to line up, and this is how you regain your sense of integrity and wholeness. The Daniel Fast The Daniel Fast is simply letting go of the most common foods that you eat and just eating only a specific type of food. The classic Daniel Fast from the Hebrew Bible is eating only vegetables, but you can use the keto version of the Daniel Fast, meaning you eat only eggs, high-fat foods, and zero carbs. If you're looking to lose weight and also turbocharge detoxification, the keto modifications of the Daniel Fast can do wonders. Time your fast right. If you're doing any kind of fast that involves ingesting calories, I am, of course, talking about the Juice Fast or the Daniel Fast, time your ingestion properly. One way to boost the effects that you get from holistic detoxification is to ingest calories only once a day. It's going to be very hard at first, but when it kicks, it's a beautiful thing because the discipline that you pick up while you are fasting and going through detox will help you for the rest of your life. You become a more disciplined and focused person. Keep repeating your detox schedule. If you're able to pull off a one-day or two-day detox, keep repeating it. Practice makes perfect. Repetition ensures that whatever insights and whatever freedom you have achieved will eventually start to kick in. Eventually, it will become permanent. The key is to keep going through this fasting and detox process. Scale up when it becomes comfortable. Once you think that things have gotten easy regarding the type of fasting you're doing, scale it up in terms of intensity or kind. For example, you started out with the Daniel Fast for three days. Try to go 10 days, then 21 days. Once you've mastered the Daniel Fast, then move on to a Juice Fast. Scale that up and then go to a classic fast. There's always room for improvement. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.